Fifth Railroad Festival is located in the city of Delaware, Ohio, which has been one of the oldest standing structures in the city. It is located approximately a half mile east of Great Memorial Hospital on State Route 37. But this is not a happy case of this structure. This has been the center of numerous accidents for vehicles taller than 12 feet 7 inches. The pictures here are demonstrating the problems that arise from this threshold what has given it the nickname of the can opener. I went to the police station to gather some information and I found that from November 4, 2014 to the present day there have been 24 accidents occurred at this location as well as 14 times police officers had to be sent to the scene to help direct the overheight vehicles to maneuver out of the troublesome areas around the trestle. Each time a vehicle hits the can opener, it costs the city $2,000 to $5,000 for cleanup, extra police officers and inspectors to make sure that the driver didn't damage the integrity of the structure. Some of the money is recovered because striking the bridge is subject to a fine of $1,000. The fine for getting police assistance is around $750. Damage to the vehicle is a different matter that the city is not responsible for. Even with the numerous signs that are already been placed around the city, we still have these problems for years on end. So part of this project, there were signs posted around the city for State Route 37 truck routes to avoid the trestle. So what is being done to correct this problem, you may ask? Well, the city of Delaware has gotten a project with help through the state to install a brand new message board detection system that will notify drivers when their vehicle passes through a set of laser beam cameras located at the Great Memorial Hospital access parking lot and the Euclid Avenue uh, street lights there towards the east side of the, the trestle. When a vehicle passes through the camera, it would send a signal to the message board to get it to display the message we would like it to. Mine gets its power from a solar panel that's located on the top of the pole that faces the south cardinal direction because that direction collects the most light. And the power is stored into four rechargeable batteries which are the size of car batteries. Once the vehicle crosses that and breaks both of the laser beams, that will send a message to the RFL box that is located next to the cabinet housing that stores all the power and functions for the regular street lights. Once the, that RFL box receives a message, it sends a wireless connection down to the RFL box that is actually located on the pole with, for which the message board and all that functionality actually holds. And once the RFL box on the overheight system receives the signal, it sends a message to the sign to power on and display the messages of a big huge in bold warning and then it'll flip to another page that says overheight vehicle detected and it'll go back and forth fairly quickly and last for about three minutes. Now where the cameras, the message boards and the the actual structure is the cameras are set up to be around 900 feet apart where the message boards from the structure is about 200 feet apart. Which, with all that distance, that gives enough time for any vehicle to slow down, be able to receive the phone number that's off of a reflective sign connected onto the pole, so then we can also help them avoid another accident. In studies, we have found that the installation of these overheight detection systems will decrease the chances of an accident by over 65%. It has been a long plan that has finally taken shape and that it has been implemented to correct a long and reoccurring problem that occurs here.